Hello, 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 my dear friends, how is it going? I'm Ari Therger, and today I'm going to talk about the rune Ansus. It's been a while since I've made these type of videos, so I'll remind you that this is a remake of my older video concerning this rune, so just adding a little bit of some extra information. I am only going to make the remake of the first eighth, right? Uh, also, an important reminder, these videos on the runes are my own, my own esoteric interpretation of their meaning, mostly to be applied then in divination methods by using the runes. For an academic study on the runes, I leave such videos in another completely different folder in this channel. Now, uh, let's get into it right away, shall we? Well, this is a rune often associated with the god Odin, which it comes in an auspicious moment since I've begun this year with videos precisely focusing on information concerning this deity. Uh, as you know it, Odin is widely known as the god who has obtained the secret magic of the runes, so among many other things, Odin is the deity linked to the written and spoken word, speech, chant to spell, which is fitting since in other myths Odin was the god responsible for giving breath to the first humans, giving them spirit or soul, hond, the breath of life, thus giving to the first humans the power to formulate words, to communicate, to express their thoughts into spoken word. So this is a rune that facilitates communication. <laughs> it helps to formulate into words the thoughts that run through our minds. Uh, it aids in establishing uh, conversations with others. Let's face it, <laughs> it is not always easy to express into words the complexity of thoughts, and it is not often easy to create communication with those who do not speak our languages. Language can be a terrible barrier, a terrible boundary. Not being able to express ourselves and our thoughts the way we truly want can often lead to misinterpretations, unfair judgment, enmities even. Especially nowadays, in the society we live today, any phrase can be deliberately misinterpreted. There's been such a fervent persecution in search of for one misplaced word or an idea that has not been properly delivered that people began to fear speaking to one another and express their thoughts and, and their ideas and opinions. Freedom of speech is being attacked by oppressors who think of themselves as righteous saviors of the downtrodden social groups of our modern societies, but what they do in fact is to deny communication between people, deny establishing conversations that could create understanding between parties, and instead there's a climate of hostility being perpetuated. And people are labelled all sorts of things, and people label themselves all sorts of things, uh, well, to the point that most are afraid to be themselves and to express themselves in their own unique way for fear of being labelled something they are not. And you can interpret this speech in whichever way you want. So, indeed, we live on an era that greatly requires the rune answers to properly establish communication with others, to deliver our thoughts in the most clear way possible, so we can create understanding between us all, to work on our issues and create a brighter future for humankind. Why deliberately create enemies when we can create friends by having respectful and polite conversations? A question for the philosophers. <laughs> we are facing a rune, therefore, in which the key concept will also be that of receiving messages, signs, a more concrete expression that gives us an important meaning. It is a messenger rune that brings us sacred wisdom. Who knows? Uh, perhaps a message that brings us the necessary information to change our lives and then launch ourselves into a new phase of life. New lives begin with new contacts, connections that direct us on new paths, 
It is a rune that tells us that we must be attentive to what others have to say, especially people who are wiser than us. But also being attentive to our own thoughts, what we say to ourselves, whether in thought or out loud. Daily affirmations towards our own person are important and they give us power, they give us strength. It's time to make a stand and be truthful with your own person paying attention to what you are telling yourself in order to be clear concerning who you are, who you want to be, and where do you want to go in life. How do we evolve as a species and as persons living in a society? We gather information and knowledge. We express our thoughts and life's experiences, conceptions, ideas, and dreams, and transform them into spoken and written words so others may know and learn, and in turn they too share knowledge and insight with us all. We learn by asking, and when there is a question, there is an answer. Often, but not always. Well, this is, this is a rune that aids us in seeking out the answer we are looking for, whichever that may be. Even if it's not the answer we wanted, it may very well be the answer we needed. It is a rune that opens paths of communication and allows transformation. But of course, um, <laughs> it can have the reverse effects, which we are quite familiar with in our day-to-day -day reality, I think. Uh, the systems of untruth we live in. It is rather ironic and frustrating to have reached a point as a society when we have created wonderful means of communication and a faster delivery of information, Within seconds, we are communicating with one another through videos, online chat, blogs, all the applications in our phones and, and the internet itself. And yet, just as the same way we have access to a wonderful variety of information and knowledge and the sharing of thoughts, ideas and conceptions, it has also facilitated the spreading of misinformation. And what is also ironic is that we have established clearer and faster means of communication only to be absolutely tired of communicating with one another and being bombarded daily by so much information we clearly do not have the stomach for and to process so much data so fast. <laughs> Everyone wants to be listened to but seldom wants to listen. It's absolutely maddening. <laughs> So indeed, just the same way we fervently want to spread the truth, understanding, sharing experiences, giving something good to others, such means of communication can and will also be used to spread misinformation, untruths, misunderstanding, delusion, manipulation, bad advice, a complete distortion of communication. This is a powerful rune that can both create communication, but also total silence, to oppress speech, augmenting doubt, ignorance, and therefore fear and hatred for what we don't know and can't understand. It's important to be alert and have um, critical thoughts in order to be well informed, to be sure that the proper channels of communication are opened and clear and that the information is flowing as it should. And, it, and it, it's not just information of our social reality, but also the information available to us out there. But it is somewhat harder to perceive because we usually focus on our own human reality in our arduous and anxiety-filled fight for survival. The mysteries of the world are still out there waiting. They won't be revealed to us unless we seek them out unless we find and understand the channels of communication and make sure they are open to us. To be attentive to the sources of knowledge that constantly flow, the deep mysteries of the world and of this earth and of the natural surroundings, the ancestral whispers, the speech and song of the land. These sources of knowledge are an inspiration and inspiration leads to the eagerness to know more seek out the sources of wisdom available everywhere at every time 
So this, this rune uh, may also give you the answer that you were seeking, that you are ready to proceed and delve deeper into the mysteries of life in order to grow, thrive, flourish, and empower yourself. If some of us could listen as much as we talk, perhaps things would be quite different. <laughs> to keep silent isn't totally unfavorable, mind you, and, and, or, or a sign of weakness and ignorance. At certain moments in life, it is best to keep silent if we have nothing good or constructive to say. Sometimes it is better to listen, to be attentive, to observe. Observation of our surroundings in search for meaning is often what opens the paths of communication that allows us to delve into the mysteries of life and of the universe. But also by keeping silent at times, we learn new things, new perspectives. We ponder about the words that have been spoken by others. We interiorize such thoughts and formulate new thoughts new understandings. We develop a new perceptive reality and then we do our best to turn into spoken and or written word all the ideas that we have been building in the depths of our spirit while we were silent. On certain occasions in life silence isn't synonymous of being asleep but rather to deliberately contemplate and reflect upon something before saying anything worth saying out loud. The aim, I think, should be to create wisdom and not to foment ignorance. Ignorance is stagnation, but wisdom, on the other hand, opens many paths towards a clearer meaning that lies in all things. We are always playing this game that Ansos expresses, the power of speech to spell out for creation or destruction, for clarity or doubt, for order and for chaos. It shapes and builds relationships, or it can separate, create division, disconnection. Perhaps we ought to ask ourselves more often what we really have to say and if it is worth saying, what real power our voice has and how can it affect the world we live in and affect others' lives. It can be a powerful skill, indeed, that should be used wisely. We should indeed be attentive concerning the things we say. I've heard once that people who speak their minds and the words oozing out of their mouths in an instant are often people who speak the truth and are truthful, and that those who ponder too much about what they want to say, are often concealing their thoughts and therefore are liars. But I do not think so. Let us not confuse truth with thoughtlessness and complete disregard concerning the impact our words have upon others. It is good and proper, I think, to reflect before speaking whatever crosses our minds. The truth isn't meant to create harm, but to liberate from ignorance and to avoid further extending hostility, unfriendliness and malice. There is a thing called politeness. <laughs> it is a great value, it is a great virtue, I think. The ability to be respectful and considerate of other people. Just as the same way we should be careful concerning our choice of words, we should also be attentive to other people's choice of words as it shows their nature and character. From the moment we start speaking, we are giving the world an understanding of us, of ourselves. We are expressing to others part of our essence and our cognitive process. The formation of the first words is the beginning of a path that has a great weight in our lives, especially when it comes to what we honestly want to be and to show the world what we really are. Also is a powerful initiation rune, a rune focused directly on the mechanism of self-transformation. And as such, it addresses our need to integrate unconscious motives with conscious intentions. Fear of miscommunication, lack of clarity or awareness in the past or in the present situation, and even in the future it might happen, 
can ironically be something that will contribute to a true lack of communication and clarity of thought and a fail in the harmony between thought and oral expression. I think there is nothing better to combat this fear than to really express ourselves as often as we can in, 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 the, in all the, the ways that we know how in the best possible way because the more we communicate, the better the ideas flow and the easier we can find the right words that are true to our desires. By all means, express yourself, your true self. Be what you want to be. Be what you were born to be. Acceptance comes through communication. The more we communicate the truth of ourselves, the easier it will be to create true, respectful relationships, even if it means a relationship with ourselves alone. Owning our body, mind and spirit is the initiation we need to delve into any mystery of life. <clears throat> All right, my dear friends, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video. And as always, thank you for today. Until we meet again.